Hey there everybody, so it's time for another one page at a time video and so I'm going to show you guys the pages that I did in here this past week. So the first starting page said it's just paper, tear this page in half and I actually did tear this page in half. I repaired it though so I, I went over it with tape to hold it back together. Uh, so I did take a picture of that right after I did it so I will include it in this video somewhere. Um, but I just made like a broken heart and I tore it straight down the middle and I put broken inside of the heart and put a bunch of cracks all over it and that's all I did to this page. Pretty simple but that's exactly how I feel. Those are my feelings sometimes. I get so depressed and get in my head and it kind of reminds me of that song by um, I think it's like Seether or Sither or something like that. <laughs> Um, and it has the girl from the one band called Amy Lee, I think is her name. Uh, but it's a really good song. That's what it kind of reminds me of. So on the back of that page it said you're tearing this one in half, right? Uh, from tearing this page in half, it also tears the back of the page in half, of course, duh. Um, so I wanted to do something kind of to work around the crack that I have on the page. So I use this quote that I really like and can relate to a lot. And it says, I myself am made entirely of flaws stitched together with good intentions, which is so true. Um, so I kind of made it in like the crack and then I put stitches on the crack where I had ripped the page. And then on the side I just put, I tore it in half and put it back together. So yeah, that's all I did to this page. Fun fact, um, I looked up a picture of this quote and I, I tried to copy like a picture that I had found on Google of this quote. And directly after I went onto Facebook and someone had this tattooed on them just like this and I felt like that was kind of like a sign from God that everything was going to be okay and I thought that I would throw it in this video somewhere for you guys just so then the next page said things might not be okay today or tomorrow but we'll make it one page at a time so hang in there click to continue so when I heard hang in there I immediately went to a monkey and how monkeys kind of like hang from branches and stuff and so I just drew a monkey. I drew a branch right here and then I have the monkey and I made his legs to where they kind of don't interfere with this right here. So he has like a big gap in between his body but I still drew my monkey. And then I put make like a monkey and hang tight. So I thought that it was cute and I really needed to hear that so I like this page. Any of my older subscribers remember MySpace. I don't see how you could not remember MySpace. MySpace was like the Snapchat and the Instagram back in the day. And you remember how on the profile page it had like an about me section underneath it said who I'd like to meet. So this page was supposed to be similar to that, like a reference to that. And it just has a box and it says www.myself.com about me and then who would I like to meet. So I put Melanie K, garlic bread, pizza and pickle enthusiast, loves her best friends, cats and staying up late, boy crazy and pervert, winky face, YouTuber, haunter, witch, zombie, Annabelle, freak, full time dork, fur baby mama of nine beautiful kitties, loves all things morbid, dark and go bump in the night. And then I just put a little peace sign. And then for my who'd I like to meet, I put Tiffany Lee, which is my best friend, Sabrina Bell, which is also another good friend of mine here on YouTube. I'll leave her channel down below. And RC, which is also another good friend of mine, and I'll put his channel down there as well. Norman Reedus, Andy Lincoln, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and all the Walking Dead cast. And then I just colored it and doodled around it and put a bunch of different colored stars. And yeah, I really like this page. It kind of takes me back to the good old MySpace days when MySpace was the the thing and I tried to make it as much detail as I possibly could about me like what I like to do so I think that I did a pretty good job the next page said 10 things I am really good at and the first one that I already had making lists which is kind of true for me even outside of this book like I make a lot of like to-do lists and stuff just because that kind of keeps me from getting down um, and then I have collecting cats, overthinking, worrying, taking selfies, sleeping, being lazy, eating, making YouTube videos, checking out hot guys, washing myself, and being clean. And once again, just so it wouldn't be so plain, I doodled and put a bunch of hearts on it. And 
and that is that page. The following page after that said, don't forget that tomorrow is literally just one day away. Um, so when I heard that, I immediately thought of this quote that I really like that really helps me in tough times. And it says, just remember, even your worst days only have 24 hours. So I just wrote that all pretty on this page. And I really like it. It's so true. Then the following and the last page for this past week said, write some terrible advice and just practice ignoring it. So, um, for anyone who has a mental illness like myself, you know... For anyone who has a mental illness like myself, you know how some people who don't necessarily understand mental illness all that well, how they can be. Like when I seen this page, like that's immediately what I thought of. So I just put, just be happy, just stop thinking about it, just ignore them, just go to sleep, stop being so sensitive, and stop worrying. So you guys know what I mean by that. Just be happy like you have depression, like they expect you to just put on a smile and be happy. I've been told that several times throughout my life, unfortunately, and a lot of people are who suffer with mental illness. There are a lot of people who don't fully understand it or get it, and um, it kind of goes misunderstood. So I thought this was some pretty terrible advice because you can't always just put on a smile and be happy and get over what you're going through. So I would never say this to anyone ever, and I wouldn't want anyone to say this to me. And I just put a thumbs down on the side and I put no in a kind of like a little bubble thingy. Those were all the pages that I did in my one page at a time this past week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite page was out of my one page at a time from this past week. Mine has to be the monkey and the, um... MySpace about me thing because it takes me back but let me know yours and I will see you guys in my next video.